The face of plastic surgery is about as different as it gets depending on what area of the country you're in. So what are the desired looks these days? Representing the West Coast is our very own Dr. Orton. Woo! And repping the Midwest the West Coast. is board the West. plastic surgeon Dr. <laughs> Stefan Sherba. Woo! They're both here for some plastic surgery confessionals. You have a confessional about a bride-to-be. Tell us about that. Yeah, I had a bride-to-be who came to me about six weeks before her wedding. And she wanted a little bit of Botox and a little bit of filler in her lips. And we went ahead and did all that, and her lips, she called me a week later and said, you know what, I want to go a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. And I want a little bit more on the right side. And I was like, okay, you know, it's kind of getting game time here. I don't know if we really want to go ahead and do this right now, but I went ahead and did it, and I added maybe a half a vial. And in my mind and in her mind, it looked perfect. Her dad did not agree. And uh -huh. here we are, four weeks before the wedding, and he's like, it's gotta come out. So we went ahead and we dissolved all the plumper in her lip. And at the end of the day, she looked great at her wedding. But we went through everything. We went through the treatment, we went through a touch-up, and we went through a resolution of dissatisfaction. All in the nick of time. Still I, I'm ready. betting that wow. dad was paying for the wedding. Dad was paying for so the wedding. You know what? And he, yeah. was paying, he was paying for the dissolving too. And explain how we do that. I think for, most people don't know that when we use uh, hyaluronic acid, we can in fact dissolve it to a certain extent. We can dissolve it to a certain extent. And I feel like the reality comes down to that if you come in and you're dissatisfied with an area that you've had plumped, Take a little bit of hyaluronic acid, put it in a very small TB syringe, and then do very small aliquot injections in the area that the patient wants resolved. Give it time. Take one week. If the patient's still not happy, add a little bit more and take it down in pieces. So you don't go from something that is perhaps overdone to completely nothing, even though if you uh, wanted to. Like, you know, like, like a, wedding, a wedding is such a big deal. Yes. Well, what are some things that women should not do before a wedding? You know, I have a very firm policy on it. Uh -huh. I like to see them about six weeks before for any injection stuff. Uh -huh. If we are doing Botox, if we're doing fillers, Six weeks is a safe number. You have a lot of time to play with. If six you, weeks for fillers. Yeah, six weeks, okay. injection and fillers. And if you are doing more aggressive things like peels, I would say start at six months. You want your skin to be primed, not just for this small 12-hour event of your wedding. You want this as a lifestyle change. You want to look good, not just for the wedding, but for the time around the wedding and, and maybe we, for life. Amen to that. And we often we forget that, that the wedding will come and go. But You've thrown up a picture of a celebrity here in Hollywood that has just gone overboard with volume, and I and I repeatedly say that you know this is not the kind of work that board-certified plastic surgeons advocate are doing. These are not the kind of results we see at our meetings. So you want to be really careful, and and I love what you described that. Do it incrementally over time, so all of, you don't want crazy, crazy volume put in your face because mm -hmm. it's going to make you look different. Adrian, look this, at me. Look this, at me. Look this. at me. We got. We got. Okay, okay. You look like you want to confess. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Forgive Professional, me. Professional, your turn. Another patient, and she bought into the Brazilian butt lift trend, and you know she's a, kind of a curvaceous girl to begin with. She wanted a significantly larger backside, and they put in. 2,000 cc's. They put in a quart of fat in each buttock. Huge. She was being pushed by her boyfriend who wanted her to have that type of look, that, that waist to hip ratio of 0.6, something like that. A little over the top Kimmy K look. Well, she lived with it for, for six months, a year, something like that, and just said, no, I went way, way overboard with my butt. So, first one that I did that I reversed a Brazilian butt lift, what did we do? We went back in and just removed about a thousand cc's from wow. each buttock. So isn't that good product, Woo! Doc? That is amazing. We, we, we like to show off <laughs> the fat that we suck. It shows that, that we got it out nice and clean. So, it doesn't always come out that well, a, but we a, left her with more than she started with, but definitely less. There you go. So that's after she was super filled, and then that's after I reduced her to a more that was a reasonable. Really nice reduction, Dr. Orton.